Hey guys, okay, it's me, okay, Sugar Love 7, I'm back to do the eyeshadow tutorial, yes, so see I have eyeshadow, another eyebrow kit, and I think that's all I have in this one, so, let's get started, so, this is from Dish Not Cosmetics, weird right, but, I love it, this is the color where I bought a while, and, I don't remember the name of the color because I had it for a while, but look at these colors. Let me say awesome. And when I say bright, they are bright. Look how bright it is. This is the orange. This is the red. And this is the brown. So look at that. Wait. Do it again for the brown. Wonderful. Check it out. It's bitchlabcosmetics.com. I have a Hello Kitty that I've had for a long time. I say a long time. A long time. This is the the eyeshadow case. Don't laugh at me, guys. I'm still trying to get this together. So I have like the white, gray, gold, bronze, um, a green, a black, and a burgundy. I have another MAC 4 palette. Stowaways. You know, Stowaways eyeshadow by 4. So, this is it. This is my blue, my brown, my gray, and my yellow. I really like this one. I really love this one. This is an Urban Decay Brow set. This is the one I showed when I did my um, eyeball tutorial. Pretty dirty, but I really don't use this one. I usually forget that it's there. This is my big first secret. I got this as a gift. This is Baked Mineral Shadow Quad. This is called Exotic Escape. So let's see how this looks. So this is the back, this is the front. And this doesn't have a mirror, but I really like the colors in this one too. So that's like a brown, a champagne, a light pink, and a dark pink. Like a black pink. Set that back. I have CoverGirl. Step one and step two. I have a, a gray and I have an, a darker gray to define the eye in, it, in your crease. So this is Smoky Shadow Black. Put black on it. So I have. The gray here. You see that? And then I have another one. So basically, you would put the first side on, and in your crease, you would do the second one to give it to define it, give it that look that you really want. This is from Maybelline. This is Carbon Frost, the keychain. I really like this one. So that's the black and that's the pink and a dark pink. This is Brown Down from MAC. I rarely use this one. It's, just, it's pretty dark. This is from MAC. This is Mylar. A lot of people use this after they put their eyebrows on. They put it right under the arch of their eyebrow. This is oh, what is it? Melon from Mac. The the um glitter. This is the eyeshadow, the pigment color. So this is a paint pot. I love this paint pot. You can also use this as a base, the eyeshadow base, or you can wear it by itself. This is soft ochre. Of course, as you can tell, it's my favorite. I put a bit in it, but this is the color. Pretty loud. Have another pink pot. This is oh, actually, this is my studio sculpt concealer. I've been looking for this. It looks like a paint pot. It comes in a paint pot. Same jar. So this is my studio. It's pretty. It's thicker than the other ones, but this concealer is pretty good as well. This is my espresso, the one I use for my eyebrows. No 
judge and go. I know. I need another one. This is someone gave this one to me too. A Max Pigment. This is like a purple. This is from Makeup Forever. This one is from Sephora. Sephora has a lot of different products, a lot of different brands you can choose from. So I just decided to try this yellow. Um, I guess it's just yellow. I can't really see like a name. I got rid of the case a long time ago, but it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty bright. Okay, we have that. I have Embark, another brown from MAC. I have a black from MAC, black tie, velvet eyeshadow from MAC. And this one has like a glitter effect to it. This is Paradisco Frost from MAC. Let's see if I can find this Paradisco Frost. This is Swimming from MAC as well. It's like a green. Okay, if I have any more fingers that I can use, <laughs> green. Also have this was my very first eyeshadow I bought, and this was a long time ago, maybe in 2007. I wasn't a person who wanted to wear makeup. I just thought it was too much. It was it would take a long time, and it it did. It really did. My eyebrows used to be this thick, and they used to come all the way back here. Nobody told me to just let me walk around with thick black eyebrows. <laughs> so. This is Amber Light Frost. It's oh, it's all over the place, but I don't want to get rid of it because it was my very first eyeshadow. As you can see, it's falling to pieces now. I have another one from Max Polar uh, Polar Opposite Mineralized Eyeshadow. The cute one. I really love this one. I really love this one. As you can see, I have stuff everywhere on my hand. Another one from Max. This is Clarity from Matte Eyeshadow. Let's see how this one. Feather blue. Pretty nice, isn't it? Now, when I first started out, that's all I was buying was Matte, you know, eyeshadows. I said, oh, I'm just gonna go with Matte. Oh my god. There's nothing wrong with Matte. We sometimes have to venture out because you can get the same thing for the good quality. But certain things I will get from Matte. This is another one from Matte Trax Velvet Eyeshadow. And I was at the point here where I'm just buying eyeshadows and I'm really using them. I'm not sure how my eyeshadows should look. This is before I learned about about primers and I was just putting eyeshadows on. This is I don't even remember what this is. It's a paint pot, but it's pretty old. <laughs> it's old. Some stuff I'm just not gonna give up because it reminds me how far I've come with my makeup. It's a gold paint pot. This is the black black ground. This is a oh my dip down um lip fluid line. Basically, you just your eyeliner up on a top. You just take a small angle brush and you put it on. It's liquid though. As you can see, I I need another one. I love it. It's so got so smooth. Let's see. I have another one. Aquadigiac from Max. This one looks pretty cool too. See, this is like a bluish color, cool green. This is Steamy Frost from Mac as well. Similar to the last one. This, let's see. Yeah, similar to the last one. This is okay. I've already shown that one, and the last one is from Victoria's Secret. Uninhibited. This is a gift as well. I really love this one. Now make sure before you put your primers on your I'm sorry, your eyeshadow when you put primer on it. A primer is um let's see if I have it over here with me. 
your primer, I don't have it with me, but you can use a paint pot for primer. Um, Target has them. Wal um, Walmart probably more than likely will have them, but try Target. Um, they have the primers where you put it on your eyes like a base. Let it dry for a little bit, not too long, because they know that it will dry too fast. And then you'll have to coat it. But I usually put two two coats of primer on. So I put my primer on, then I put my eyeshadow on, and it makes it pop. Sometimes you can see people who looks really light before they, when they put their eyeshadow on. That's because they don't have a base. They don't have a primer. So that's it for my eyeshadows and primers and concealers. So the next video, oh, actually no, I forgot. I ordered this a while ago from Amazon, I believe. From Amazon. And if I lift this up, there's another one. There we go. There we go. There's another one. And I got this for nine dollars. Nine dollars. It was on eBay. eBay. Um, I think I got this like a year ago, but I won't let it go either. So this is my last tutorial on this well not my last tutorial. Um that I have. And of course another lashes. I'm not really gonna wear. Of course I should send the lash though. So um, my next video I'm going to do, this one is about health, about my weight loss journey, and what I eat, and how I like to stay healthy. So if you guys have any questions, just put a comment down below. I'm still working on adding pictures and comments on the side and things like that. So, have a good day guys. Bye.